So Star Wars The Bad Batch is a TV show set to release on Disney Plus coming May 4th. We honestly did not see this coming as soon as we thought it would. We think a lot of us thought it maybe be in like the fall of this year. But of course that raises the question for us LEGO Star Wars fans, what, if any, sets will we be getting here from The Bad Batch? Now there's hundreds of options and I'm sure as the series progresses, whether it's gonna be one season or multiples, I'm sure we'll be able to tell a lot of really popular things that could be made into Lego sets. But today I wanna to explain my theory about how Lego will be releasing and going about Bad Bat sets. Now none of the information in this video is confirmed, none of it's rumor, it's just pretty much what I'm thinking. Now a lot of my theory is gonna be based off of how Lego actually released sets for the Mandalorian TV show and also the Clone Wars, so keep that in mind. This is all of my own thinking, let me know down below what you guys think of my theory and let's get started. So like I said, Star Wars The Bad Batch is coming out May 4th. It's essentially a direct follow-up from the Clone Wars. It takes place mostly after Order 66. We're following The Bad Batch, Clone Force 99, which is basically a group of undesirables. There's a lot of theories about whether or not they're gonna follow Order 66 or whether or not they're not gonna do it because they are quote defective clones and the clones were created ultimately to follow out with this Jedi Purge. So I think Bad Batch, the Clone Force 99, I don't think they're gonna comply. I think it's gonna be a show about them getting accustomed to the new order and not really following what's going on. Now this video, we're assuming Lego's making sets. Again, it's not confirmed, it's not a rumor. It's just, I'm gonna assume it for the sake of today's video and the fictionalization of looking forward into the future. So first, it's important to understand about how LEGO released sets with The Mandalorian TV show. So the first episode of The Mandalorian debuted in the end of 2019. LEGO made one set that released before the show. That was the ATST Raider that came out, I believe, in October in the first week in 2019. And then later next year, they released The Mandalorian Battle Pack. And then, of course, we got the Razor Crest at the end of 2020. Baby Yoda, The Child, all these cool sets. Let's take a little bit of an analytical look at the Clone Wars and LEGO sets they made. The only two LEGO sets we got that were realistically from the Clone Wars Season 8 were of course the 501st Legion Clone Troopers and the A18. Now the Clone Wars Season 8 released in February of 2020 and later in the summer, August slash September, depending on where you live in the world, the 501st Battle Pack and the A18 were released. So the only times where we got a set before the release of a TV show was for The Mandalorian and it was the ATST, and I don't think that's gonna be the case with the Bad Batch. Now taking all of this into account, I think that we're gonna be getting probably only one single Bad Batch set coming in the summer or September wave of Lego Star Wars for 2021. I think it's gonna be something that we have already seen, something that Lego's been working on for quite a while that we really don't need to see new reference material for, and that is why I think we're gonna get something similar to the Bad Batch shuttle. Now this is an amazing render right here uh, from Brick Wizard 59 He makes custom sets and they're absolutely amazing. Uh, definitely go check them out, links are in the description. I think we're gonna get something that we already sort of know that the Bad Batch uses. Of course, we saw the shuttle most prominently in the Anaxis arc in season seven. So I think because this is such a well-known thing for the Bad Batch, this is probably gonna be one of the first few sets that we get. And then I think in 2022, we're probably gonna be getting something more along the lines of a battle pack. Now, I believe that that shuttle will only come with a select few members of the Bad Batch Clone Force 99. I think they're gonna do something along the lines very similarly to the Knights of Ren, where you had to buy, I think, three or four different sets to collect all the minifigures. So I think they're gonna be doing something very similar to that. Now, going into 2022 in the winter wave and the summer wave, I would expect at least one Bad Batch set in each of those waves that, of course, correlate with whatever happens in the Bad Batch TV series, again, premiering on May the 4th. We've seen that LEGO likes to to release maybe one, maybe two sets at a time from any of these TV shows that we're getting. It's not like a big blockbuster movie like we got releases for Force Awakens or Last Jedi or Rise of Skywalker. We see Lego like to do only one at a time. I think we're gonna be following a very similar pattern with the Bad Batch. But to close out my entire theory of the Bad Batch releases of potential Lego sets, I think we're gonna get one, perhaps, in August or fall of 2021, and then we'll get two more throughout the year in 2022. We'll have to see. Uh, this is again, this is entirely a rumor, and I'm speculating based purely off what LEGO has done in the past with the Clone Wars and the Mandalorian. This, of course, could very well change. We could get an entire wave dedicated to the Bad Batch. I just don't think that's too realistic. But I am really excited. I think Clone Wars is a large part of a desire for the LEGO Star Wars community, especially for myself. So it's exciting to see the Bad Batch pretty much continuing off of where we left from season seven. It's gonna be really cool, gonna be really fun. Guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think of my thoughts, my theories down below in the comments. Also, one last appreciation for this beautiful uh, render of the Bad Batch shuttle from Brick Wizard 59 Now, as the Bad Batch show progresses, I will be making videos about what I think would make really great LEGO sets. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and subscribe down below 
below. That way you don't miss any of those. And I'll see you later. Take it easy. Peace.